Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. Now, Instagram has become a massive part of the climbing world, especially if you're a professional photographer or athlete. On today's show, pro photographer Lena Drapella gives us a masterclass on how to create and maintain your Instagram account and some tips on ensuring your photos get maximum exposure. I'm Lena and I'm a professional photographer. I take photos of climbing most of the time. Some of them outdoors, indoors, competition. Um, and I use Instagram for like promotion uh, purposes most of the time, but also for like connecting to the audience that I have and, and like-minded people. So Instagram, it's, I think it's a great tool for many, many reasons and many different people. I'd say if you want to connect with your mates, it's probably even more popular than Facebook these days, but also as a professional, you, you, it's got some great purposes that you can use it for. Um, I find it's very important and gives me like a lot of opportunities I wouldn't have otherwise um, to connect with people, not only like audience itself, but also with athletes, with, with other photographers, other filmmakers to, to create new projects and make up, come up with like crazy ideas sometimes. So for those reasons, that's actually really, really good. But also there is marketing. So for that is absolutely great and it can work as a, some kind of a portfolio, I'd say. It's kind of like showcasing your best work that you're ready to share with the world. And for that, it's, it's absolutely great. So the first major thing is content. Like you really need to create good content. Otherwise there's, well, <laughs> Instagram is very visual, right? So the, the first thing that people see is, is the image, is the content. Like obviously the captions are important, like don't put it off. <laughs> They're still, still an important bit, but the very first thing is create quality images and, and make sure you post the right ones. So I started my Instagram about two years ago and that was actually before I was a professional photographer. So it's kind of a tricky question because I guess most of my audience likes me for being a climber more than a photographer only. So weirdly enough, most of the photos that are very popular on my account are the photos that are of me climbing rather than me, like photos shot by me. Uh, which is kind of cool but also kind of annoying because <laughs> obviously I want to use it for the purposes of being a photographer. But yeah, I'd say what tends to be more popular are the photos that kind of have a story behind them and if you are the one on them, people are following you as a person so if you're the one on them they kind of feel a bit more connected to who they're watching, what, who they know, who they follow. If you're a photographer also from time to time post something about yourself and who you are. So if I was to give someone three bits of advice of how to run a more successful Instagram account, I'd say definitely content is the first one. As I said, it's, it's the most important thing. Like, like if you create quality content, there will be people who like it. No matter what kind of thing it is, whether you're into climbing or cooking or whatever, whatever that is that you like, content is the most important thing. Like that's what people see and that's why they follow you in the first place. Um, second, I'd say, being yourself, I know it sounds really cheesy, but it's like just just show who you are. People follow people, not not like random robots or, <laughs> or weird accounts. They, they follow them because they want to know the story. They want to know what they do for a living. They want to know how they behave, how they act, what they like. So if you from time to time post something about yourself, even if it's a bit personal, people tend to like that quite a lot. And third, would be probably if you go into the algorithm of Instagram, that might be worth a little bit, so go with the hashtags, but also if I'm not wrong, I think these days the engagement counts more than hashtags, so if you, if you, if people who follow you actually care and they, and you create captions that are engaging, that um, make people act to it, then the chances are it's going to do better than the other photos. So the process of posting a photo on Instagram, um, it also depends whether it's a story photo or whether it's, it's for uh, actually posting this photo later on. So for the story, there's, if you have a camera that's got Wi-Fi, then great, because you can get photos, high quality photos for your story straight away uh, and just send them to your phone. If you don't, 
like I, <laughs> like, like myself, I don't have uh, Wi-Fi on my phone, on my camera. There are actually SD cards that are have Wi-Fi built built into it, so you can transfer photos from your camera to your phone like in in seconds. And if you're on the spot somewhere pretty, somewhere outdoors, and you're trying to take a photo of your phone, but I don't know, it's too dark or it's just not quite as good as you'd like it to be, you can straight away transfer it to your phone and then edit it on one of the apps. Some of them are really, really good. And you can post it straight on the story. Um, if it's a photo that I'm posting on Instagram rather than the story itself, I'd probably edit it on a laptop. I'd probably make sure that it's actually like done as it should be straight away and post it later. On the laptop, I use Lightroom and Camera Raw and Photoshop. Um, on the phone, there's actually one app that I particularly like. It's called Snapseed, and it's amazing. You can really do crazy things with JPEG photos, which is like incredible. I really, really like it. So people that I really like, to be fair, most of the people that I do follow on Instagram are either athletes or photographers. That's pretty much the mix that's there. <laughs> And some of my favorites are, um, well, people that I really admire as photographers. So like Chris Burkett and, and Tim Campbell, for example. I really, really like their the stuff. And Jima Chin, of course, like, it's kind of, kind of obvious. But yeah, these guys, for sure. Thanks for that, Lena. There's links to her website and Instagram in the description below. So make sure you go and follow her. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.